Then once we're actually in game itself guys, go into your Fortnite settings, just simply open it up until we are here under video. And then we can see guys, for our window mode, super important that you actually keep it on full screen for less input delay. By the way, for my resolutions guys, I have a whole entire video for the top resolutions for low-end PCs, which you can check afterwards. But as you can see from the intro, I'm right now using 40, 40 times 1080. Then for my frame rate limit, it's actually not kept to 360 guys, but always free FPS underneath my maximum refresh rate. If you're on 60 or 75 hertz, put it to 120. If you're on anything above like 144, 240, always free FPS. FPS lower, this helps the engine to sync better. The next up for the rendering mode, guys, you have to put actually the performance mode if you're on NVIDIA or Intel HD graphics. If you're on AMD, guys, always make sure to utilize DirectX 12. This one works better. Then the rest is kind of personal preference, but I like to have my brightness on 100%, user interface contrast 1x, and proton app set to 7. Looks the best in my opinion. The next up under graphics quality, guys, we have 3D resolution where you can actually squeeze out a ton of performance. Mine right now here is set to 70%, guys, and the game still looks fantastic as you can see from the gameplay in the background, guys. So therefore, anything between 70 to 100% is going to work perfectly fine for you. Of course, the lower you can go, the higher your FPS are going to be. So therefore, 70% is really the sweet spot between visuals and having good performance. And of course, virtualized geometry you're going to have on off, viewing distance on near, textures on low. But sometimes it might also be beneficial to put your textures on high, guys, because it's going to actually crank up your GPU utilization. So therefore, try it out yourself and your meshes on low, of course. Then we're already going to apply this. Go over to game settings. Make sure that you select directly the region where you guys are from. Next up, guys, I'm about to show you the GR Booster, which you can, by the way, trade for absolutely free, which is going to help you to reduce your ping in your favorite esports games like Fortnite. Especially if you have super high ping in-game, guys, this is going to help you out so much, no matter which region you're playing on, by the way. You can see I only have 10 milliseconds latency while actually being in rank, guys. So therefore, in creative, it's even lower, which is already an improvement of 60%, which is amazing. As much as you can try it for absolutely free, it's basically going to check the connection between your PC and your router, and then your router and the game server, consistently looking in the background for the best DNS server, ensuring you the least amount of ping. The next up guys, also super important that you go over to audio where we can actually find you now sound quality and this one you please have to put to low guys. It even says in description, high of course sounds better but it might actually decrease your performance in Fortnite so therefore leave it on low and of course if you're playing on a super low end PC also make sure to turn off visualized sound effects. I know it's a great feature for a huge competitive advantage but if you're on a low end PC make sure to put it to off. As an extra tip guys, I can also recommend you this low end 1v1 map which actually will boost your FPS by so much. The map code is going to be right now here on screen. But this map is actually crazy when it comes down to FPS, guys. I'm right now playing on my $400 budget PC, which I just built yesterday. The video is also on my channel. And you can see I'm getting almost a 1,000 FPS actually with this build, which is crazy. I mean, you can also see how buttery smooth the game actually feels like. Like, I can just go through all of these edits here with literally zero issues. Oh my god, easy. Just like that. <laughs> and you can definitely see my FPS are super high right now, guys. So therefore, definitely make sure that you try it out yourself. And these are actually by far the best low NPC settings for Fortnite here in 2023. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and check out the two videos which are right now on screen.